Planet Dolan. From marrying the trapped spirit of your dead wife to tying the knot with a photo of yourself, we look at 10 people who married inanimate objects. Hello there, my name is Shima and I'll be your feline narrator today, reading out amazing and unbelievable facts while you get nice and cozy. Number 10. A Barbie Doll Well, I guess this is what happens when you end up playing with your toys just a little bit too much. 46-year-old Taiwanese man Chang Si Sum married the 11-inch piece of fantastic plastic after his first flesh-and-blood wife committed suicide. But Chang had a very good reason for playing Ken. He believes that his wife's spirit is trapped inside the doll. And it gets even weirder. Chang was already remarried after his first wife died. The marriage to Barbie was done with his current wife's blessing. Talk about a bizarre love triangle. At least his human wife doesn't have to worry about him cheating, considering what's under Barbie's dress. Number 9. A Clay Pot When you've been stood up at the altar, you sometimes just have to make the best of a bad situation. Indian woman Sativa was left hanging at the altar when her husband who worked at the Tibetan border police ended up stranded at work. Not wanting to waste the ceremony, the bride's family came up with a great idea. Slap a photo of the groom onto a clay pot. Problem solved. Sativa married the pot proxy in what must have been an awkward ceremony. Oh, well, at least they didn't let all that food go to waste. Sometimes it's just worth ruining your daughter's special day. Number 8. The Eiffel Tower well, if you're going to fall in love with a structure, best to be one in the universal city of love. Erica Eiffel held a commitment ceremony with the iconic tower after falling in love with its subtle curves. Erica had a long history of falling in love with objects, including dating a bridge in her teen years and then joining the Air Force to get to know a gorgeous F-15 fighter jet. Interestingly enough, Erica believes that her wife, the tower is a female I guess, is reciprocating the love she's giving it. How? I have no clue. Number 7. A Steam Engine Here's a relationship that seems to be on the right track. Let's just hope it doesn't run out of steam. <sighs> now that we have the train puns out of the way, Joachim A. of Hammond, Oregon fell in love with inanimate objects from a very young age. Being attracted to the inner workings of machines, it's no surprise his heart would be stolen by a steam locomotive. Joachim has unfortunately had several affairs with other objects in the past, though, his repairman job has occasionally caused him to fall for broken radiators. Let's hope Joachim doesn't do anything to derail their love, am I right? <coughs> Number 6. A Stereo System Who doesn't love a sleek and sexy hi-fi system with a killer bass setup? Still, probably shouldn't start trying to get busy with it, probably voids the warranty. But that's of no concern to British woman Emma, who makes love to her system at least twice a day. The stereo, whose name is Jake, gets regular services from Emma both of the mechanical and sexual kind. Emma says that the relationship has made her a bit of a loner, fearing that people will reject her strange love. Number 5. A Roller Coaster Here's a relationship that should have its fair share of ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvanian church organist Amy Wolf Weber fell in love with the wild ride at the young age of 13. After going for her first ride, Amy instantly knew she was sexually and mentally attracted to the fairground spectacle. Amy had ridden the coaster at least 3,000 times before deciding to tie the knot. As a sign of devotion, Amy took the name of the manufacturer, Weber, and she carries around nuts and bolts that have fallen from the ride. Hmm, maybe she should organize a checkup for her husband. Number 4. A Pillow Sometimes it's hard to find someone you want to share a bed with when you already share it with a full-size body pillow. 28-year-old Korean Lee Gyu Jin said I do to the body pillow that had a picture of Fate Testarossa from the anime Nanaha printed on it. Now, we assume that he was marrying the pillow itself and not the character, but that doesn't really make that much of a difference. Guys like this and the guy who married his 3DS waifu are the people that give anime fans a bad name. Well, mostly them. Number 3. A 3DS game character. Speaking of the guy who married his 3DS waifu, we come to the strange case of Sal 9000. This Japanese man who goes by the moniker Sal 9000 married the character of Nene Anagasaki from the game Love Plus. Well, technically he married the 3DS that Nene lives in, having the handheld on, er, hand, during the wedding to talk to guests. I wonder if Sal 9000 would be jealous if someone else married the character. Then again, they could always double date considering they all have the same taste in video games. Number 2. A Foam Cutout of Himself well, this one takes narcissism to new and unexpected heights, or lows, either way. Chinese man Liu Ye married the life-size foam cutout of himself because he was dissatisfied with reality. 
The wedding was carried out with full tradition customs, with the cutout wearing the red wedding gown and toasting the family's ancestors. Spectators reported that it was a grand wedding, only drawback being that the wife was a photo of the groom. Ye has since fended off accusations that he was homosexual, but did concede that the event was slightly narcissistic, which is putting it lightly. Number 1. The Berlin Wall There had to be someone who was devastated with the fall of the Berlin Wall other than Stalin's ghost. Ajurita Berliner Mauer had been married to the wall since 1979, after a lifelong obsession with the structure. After being diagnosed with objectum sexuality, Ajurita decided it was finally time to settle down with the Iron Curtain. Distraught over the destruction of her husband in 1989, she hasn't been back to see the remaining parts of the wall, instead building models as a testament of his former glory. I think I'd be distraught too if my partner died with David Hasselhoff singing on top of their corpse. Thanks for listening. Bye. Sexual arousal specifically to objects that are religiously sacred, like crucifixes, meaning that someone on DeviantArt is drawing a sex version of the Ark of the Covenant. But hey, who hasn't been in church and thought, damn Jesus, he has a great body on that cross.